What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter V Chun-Li. She is the second figure in the line. And let's actually take a look at her box. You can see we do get Chun-Li here in the packaging. We have Chun-Li here. Some effects. Some alternate hands right here. And as well as two alternate faces. We do have a beautiful image of Chun-Li here. On the side, no real read-up, just says Chun-Li. On this side, we have an image of the character from the promotional art for Street Fighter V. On the back, we don't get a real bio for Chun-Li. We just get Chun-Li herself, as well as some various posing options we can get her in, as well as some stats right here on Chun-Li. So really awesome packaging. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get her open up and out of the packaging, and then we'll go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Chun-Li posing out of the packaging. Before we get onto the figure herself, let's actually show off her accessories. First off, we do get this really nice backdrop for Chun-Li. This is an accessory. It was in a plastic bag, and it does look really nice. It is just cardboard, unfortunately, and it's not plastic. But it's printed really nicely, and all you do is get it to stand somewhat like this. And once you have it standing like that, you can bring your figures in. And now we have a fighting arena for them, which I think is a really nice touch for these figures. I'm not complaining about getting this. It's a really nice thing that they didn't have to include, and they did anyway. But I do like the way the backdrops look. They are nicely detailed, and they look straight like they do from the actual in-game in screenshots that I could find. But she does come with two of them. They're not the same, but when you put them together, they make one full diorama. So that's actually a really nice accessory, so let's move on to her next accessories. With Chun-Li, we actually do get three different face sculpts. We can see this is the one that came on here in the packaging. It's a neutral, stern-looking face. We also do get this somewhat sp smiling face, which I don't know why they included this with the figure, because more than likely you're going to have her pose with the neutral face right here. Or you can have her pose with this somewhat yelling face. This one is more expression. This one is more ready to fight. If you were to have them pose, more than likely you're using these, these two. But it is nice that we do get a third head option. And if you want to know how this pegs into her head, we have two tabs right here on the back. And then we have a square peg right there. And you just pick the head that you want to, or the face that you want to use. And we just go ahead and slide that on, like so. And it fits on pretty nicely. So it's a really nice effect. And really glad that they do include three. So let's actually move on to her next accessories. Chun-Li comes with a total of four pairs of hands. We get two fist hands, one for the right, one for the left. We get this wide open hand, which we're going to be using for her main fighting stance. And we do get a right and a left hand for this. We get a pair of style posing hands, which I don't know what poses I'm going to have her with these, but we do have the style pose option hands. And we do have these pushing hands that, you know, when she does her double palm attack, that's what these hands are going to be used for. More than likely, I'm going to be using the fist or the open chop hands for my Chun-Li, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, let's actually move on to her next accessory. Chun-Li's final accessory is her flash kick attack, and I have to say this is a really nice effect, and the way they went about it is really, really cool, and I'm going to show that off in a little bit. It is made of a yellow translucent plastic, and you can see the edges right here are frosted, and it goes from a yellow translucent all the way to just a clear translucent. It does come with a little stand, so you can have it posed by itself, although it doesn't make much sense when you just have it posed. And then you can see how it's a round hole right here. You're going to put her foot there when you get it all assembled. But right now we're just going over the detail on it. And in a little bit I'll show you what that looks like fully assembled. And to get it on Chun Li, it does come apart like that. So if you're wondering how you're going to get her foot in there, you just basically untab it, then tab it back together. And then we should have a full effect. So let's actually get Chun Li in here so we can show off what that effect looks like. 
And when all is said and done, we do have Chun Li here posed with the flat with her multi kick. I I don't remember what the name of this attack is called. I'm just calling it the flash kick. I know I'm wrong about that, so don't correct me on that. I I just didn't have time to look up the name of her attacks before we did this review. But overall, the effect looks really nice and. If you have it up against a white background, the stand isn't that noticeable, and it gives this really beautiful kicking effect. So what we're going to do now, since you guys see what it looks like, is we're going to go on to the actual figure. So let me get her pose and ready to go for the, for the details and her articulation, and then we'll continue her review. And so here we have Chun Li pose, and I'm going to say Bandai did a really good job sculpting this figure. And there's a lot of detail on her, and let's actually get a good 360 of her really fast. I really do love the blue that they chose for Chun-Li. It's a really, really nice shade of blue, and in person it looks a little dark, but it actually works for the figure. And let's actually just show off her details really fast. Let's get her standing, and we'll go on to her head sculpt first, which is... A really beautiful head sculpt on for Chun Li. Let's see if the camera will focus really fast. Okay, there we go. Really beautiful head sculpt. I know a lot of people say it looks really anime-ish, but you know I think it works for Chun Li. You know, she looks beautiful and she's cute looking. I think this is the way you, when you picture Chun Li, how she's supposed to look. You can see the detail with her makeup in her eyes. And then how much detail went into the shading in her eyes. Her lips are a different shade of pink. You can even see even her earrings are sculpted on, so that's pretty nice. Her little headdresses are also done really well. You can see all the gold trim. Even here at the edges, that's done really nice. The gold is done superb on this figure. Let's actually just zoom out just a little bit. I can't find any issues with the gold bleeding onto the blue, and that's a really, really good job on Bandai's part, making that so, so well done. I, I have to give credit where credit is due, and that is a really nice detail with all the gold against the blue. So much room for error, and they nailed it perfectly. You can see her study, her spiked, uh, what are these, four, no, bracelets, they do... They are separate appliances and they do move, if you're wondering. Her little dress comes down and you can see it is split back here and even some detail back here so that's really nice. Then we go on to her thighs which is probably the main feature of Chun Li. She has these really muscular thighs and it just looks really nice. But it's a little bit of a shame that they did sculpt out a lot of her knee back here but that's just to help with the articulation so I guess I can forgive it because you're really not going to be looking at the back of the figure that much and then she does have white boots with some gray shading in it so that so overall I really do like the way Chun Li looks here and she has a lot of articulation to back it up so let's actually move on to her articulation really fast she does have a ball hinge head joint. We can tilt her head left and right, although we don't get much play because it's not a ball peg supporting her head. It's a ball hinge. Kind of like a Figma joint where we can rotate right here, here, and look up and down, but it's not really a true ball joint. Her headdresses do swivel around, so if you want to have those pose a certain way, you can. Her neck does appear to be on a ball joint which works really well she can look down that much up that much and with that added joint we can have her looking down to her chest arms are on a ball socket so we do get the butterfly joint right here and I think it's a really nice feature that we do get these pull out shoulders that you can pull them out a little bit and get a little more range coming out of that but it's not too much and because they are on in that ball joint, they can pivot down and up and go all the way around. So good articulation there. Arms go out to about there, and I can't get them any further up because of the way her sleeves are sculpted. But we do get a full 360 right there. We do get some slight swiveling here at the top of the shoulder. We have a swivel here at the bicep, which is hidden under all that nice sculpt. She has an elbow that goes about that far, and 
it really doesn't swivel at the elbow. You're mainly just swiveling at the bicep. Her wrists have that ball hinge so we can have an up and down movement. And if we rotate the hinge, we have an in and out movement, as you can see right there. So good range of articulation there. So a lot of posing just here in the arms, and then we do get a really nice diaphragm joint, which goes back about that far, forward about that far, leans to the side pretty far. We also do get a swivel right there. So good range of movement right here in Chun Li, just at the joint. And then we do get a separate ball joint down here at her hip, or at the waist, so we can lean her even f more on that side, more on that side. And it does aid with the crunch going forward and back. Legs go out a really, really far distance, but the way they designed this joint, it doesn't look too aesthetically pleasing. But when you have her posed like this, her skirt does cover it up so it's not that noticeable. And because of the way they sculpted her thighs, we don't get much swivel in the way of her thighs, but thankfully we do get a little bit of swivel right down here at her knees. So her legs do go back, or out, forward, about that far, back pretty far. No real thigh swivel, although it is there. We have this ball joint in the knee, which goes that far back. And like I said, we do get a little bit of swivel on that knee joint. Uh, no boot swivel, but we do get a hinge in the ankle, which works pretty far. Her foot goes back that far. It doesn't go that far forward. We do get some a forward-facing pin for rocker ankles. And we, we do get some swivel down here at the foot. And we get a toe hinge, which works really nicely. So that's Chun Li's articulation for you. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get a pose for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Chun Li pose for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like the way this figure came out. I wasn't always the biggest Street Fighter fan. I gravitated more toward Mortal Kombat. I guess I'm a really violent person. But I really do like the way this figure came out, and I'm really glad I picked her up. She's really aesthetically pleasing, especially if, you've, if you're familiar with the character. She looks nice. The only thing I wish they included was a flight stand so that we could have her pose with her hurricane kick. That's probably the one downside to this figure is that we don't get a flight stand to display her with that hurricane kick. But it's something I'm willing to overlook because I do have other flight stands that I can just throw on Chun-Li so it's not that big of an issue. Now, I did pick up my Chun-Li from Big Bad Toy Story. She came out to about $49 with shipping. I actually picked her up with Ryu, so Ryu's review is right around the corner. If you're looking to get a good Chun-Li figure and you missed out on the NECA or the Soto ones, this is actually a really good update to the figure, and I really do like the way she came out. This is probably my favorite Street Fighter figure that I own right now. We'll have to see how Ryu comes out and then eventually see what the Storm Collectibles Ryu is like. But as it stands... I really do like the way this Chun-Li is. So, I'm going to wrap up my review here saying I really do recommend Chun-Li. If you're a Street Fighter fan, or just a fan of the SH Figure Arts line in general, you're going to really love this figure. Until next time, guys, I'm King of Dragons 1000 saying don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, check out all my other action figure reviews. All my SH Figure Art reviews are also up, so go ahead and check those out. As always, if there's a figure you guys would like to see me review, and if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone. My